Hello everyone, welcome to AKP's classroom. Today, let's talk about the process through which multiple node MCU boards can communicate with each other through MQTT protocol. Yes, right now, I have two node MCU boards. In the first node MCU board, one DHT11 sensor is connected. And in the second node MCU board, two LEDs are connected. So, depending on the data that is coming from first node MCU board, the LED that is attached to the second node MCU board will turn off or on. So, that's the objective in this project. So, let's find out how we can complete the entire project. Now, let's start the Mosquito MQTT server so that the client can communicate with each other through the Mosquito MQTT server and it will take a couple of seconds to start the server. After that, the clients can communicate with each other to the server. And right now, the server is running fine. So next, I am going to start the node RAID server so that I can use the node RAID interface. Now, let's start the node RAID server. Open CMD and type node RAID. Now, the node RAID server is running. Now, let's explore the codes in Arduino IDE. In the first node MCU board, the PHT11 sensor is connected. Now, we have to note down the topics through which the first node MCU client will publish its data to the server. And here it is. So, the first topic, room slash temperature through which the temperature data will be uploaded to the server and the second topic is room slash humidity. So these two topics are very much important. In the second node MCU board, actually we will use the topic room slash humidity to get the humidity data from the server. So this is the simple code and it's easy to understand if you go through the code line by line. So there is no problem with the code. Now next the code related to the second node MCU board and here I have implemented a simple logic to control the LED that is attached to the second node MCU board. If the humidity data is greater than 90% then the LED will be on otherwise it, it will be off. So this is the logic actually and uh, depending on the data the LED will be turn on or turn off. So that's the simple logic. Now for that, I am using the topic room slash humidity to get the humidity data from the first node MCU sensor to the MQTT server. So that's the simple logic. And here the second node MCU board should subscribe the topic room slash humidity. So let's go to the subscribe option. And here it is. So room slash humidity, this is the topic, the second node MCU board should subscribe to get the data from MQTT server. So these two codes uh, we have to upload in both the node MCU boards. So right now the data related to humidity, temperature and heat index are available through the serial monitor. So as per our logic, the LED should be turned on and right now uh, you can visualize that the LED attached with the second node MCU board is on. So it's working perfectly. Now let's uh, explore the Mosquito MQTT server. What's going on through the Mosquito MQTT server? So two clients are there. One uh, ESP8266 client 12. Another one is 22. So both are communicating. So uh, through the server window, you can visualize that both the clients are communicating. Fine. At the same time, uh, we can visualize the data uh, through the Arduino serial monitor also. So right now, uh, this is the data for the first node MCU board. Uh, okay. So let's uh, change the communication port uh, to visualize the data for second node MCU board. So for that, I am just uh, 
changing the communication port okay and it's communication port 3 i think so let's uh explore yeah so it's fine so right now uh this is the serial monitor related to the node nsu board 2 so here uh that second node nsu board actually fetching the data successfully from the mqtt server and uh, it's the value is 95 okay so uh let me check the data if it's 95 or not for that just uh we have to just uh, go through the node red server okay so right now uh if you compare both the data then it's same so the humidity data actually we have uh, from the first node mcu board is 95 and uh, we are receiving the same data in the second node mcu board uh, okay so it's fine and both are working perfectly so just uh, modifying the logic uh, we can control the led as per our requirement so through this way uh, we can automate multiple node mcu boards using nqtt protocol thank you